So what I presented today in the talk was the uh, evidence that uh, my lab has collected uh, showing that um, immunity is associated to the disease and that uh, the immune response in Parkinson's disease involves both the brain but also periphery in an event where they actually this re immune response is actually coordinated so what is happening in the brain is associated to what happens in the periphery and, and the contrary and um, and then we we show as well that these changes they uh, are stage specific so they change with the patient let's say and they are associated toward the neuronal event um, in the patient is at that moment. Therefore, they are associated to the symptoms of the patient as well. I believe actually that inflammation is one of the factors that can drive uh, neurodegeneration. Uh, it is still unclear if it is at the onset of the disease. If in what we call a sporadic Parkinson disease, the immune system is the cause of the disease, it's not really known, but uh, once that the disease or some kind of neuronal event has initiated, uh, the involvement of the immune system is already there. And uh, then it progresses through disease and eventually actually contributes to the neuronal death. So I think actually it's a, it's a factor that if modified, eventually will also modify the neuronal health.